there is some fear out there. There is. Uh, there's some negative sediment as you watch the media and the news out there. People have a lot of negative things to say. People are worried about uh, the bond rates, uh, the 10 year treasury yield, uh, all kinds of things that are really going haywire. Um, a possible government shutdown in 40 days. Um, the Republicans look like they might mean a little bit of business this time uh, about a shutdown. You know, I think everyone thought that uh, it was going to be business as usual, a lot of fear about shutting down the government and shutting down the spending. And this time it looks like they, they, they really <laughs> uh, they threw McCarthy out. And, you know, right now it's fine because they passed the spending. But in 40 days, I think that there really might be some, some edge there to stop any kind of spending. And um, I think more and more people are starting to look at the deficit and the debt that we're in and how unobtainable it is to really get back on track and to stop selling out our future of, uh, of America here. Um, and what point does it come to where people are like, you know, other countries don't want to invest in America because we're so, so debt riddled. It's a problem. And we have been kicking it down the road for a lot of time for what I believe is political votes. Nobody wants to be the one to pull the trigger and say, hey, look, this has got to stop. So is that coming into fru fruition now? Are we going to see something really done about it? I don't know. Probably not. But there could be some things going on there that I'm, I'm going to be really watching. But other than that, you know, one thing that I really look at on what's going on here it feels really similar to last year. Um, very, very similar where we had kind of a little bit of a drop off in the summer. And then by September and October, there was a lot of fear in the market. And, and no lie, I got caught up in it too. I really started to think, okay, look, this is going to be the, the major turn. Here we go. And sure enough, no, it it wasn't and stocks have really gone up since last October um, especially if you sold in maybe July or, or August I mean you made some great profits if you were to, to buy the dip last October and I have to think about is this happening again is this the same thing as last October and it really looks like it. it really does and one thing that I'm really looking at here to say, okay, I don't think this is the big drop, is the jobs. The jobs report was good. The Jolts report, it was good. There's still lots of people with money. People are still buying these new cars that are super expensive. People are buying these used cars that are super expensive. People aren't having really any money issues. And the jobs are out there. People have income so until that really gets affected I don't think too much is going to change here <clears throat> and it could it could because of the rates being so high and because some of these companies are not getting the free money that they used to and they can't hire as many people they can't they can't branch out and expand with that free money and they might have to lay some people off but so far that hasn't really happened so far the, as long as people have their jobs, they will rack up debt, they will spend money, and they will have money. Um, yeah, so that is going to be the real thing to watch, is the, uh, the jobs. Um, if the jobs do go down, we are going to take some hits. We really will. So watch those numbers and uh, everything else. You know, I'm not really too sure. I'm going to be buying this October. I'm going to be dipping back in because I don't feel like anything really has changed here too much. Um, and it could. It really could. Especially with the 10-year treasury. That's something that is skyrocketed. And I think that may have some major results or some major, um, some major things that may result from that. So watch the jobs. Everything else. Um, 
people still have money. They do. There's no doubt about that. And until that changes, ain't nothing else going to change.